Afternoon ladies. Right, what we're going to be doing today is um, an oval plaque. I've not planned anything at all. I've just got an um, oval card chipboard done. I'm just going to rough up the edges using my knife. Like that. It's fine by me, like that. Oops, pop my knife back. I'm going to see if I can turn this over for a bit of a clean... <laughs> Not really. It's a little bit better than what it was. I'll do another tutorial at least. Right. Okay. Let's do that. Now, what I'm going to do to that, I'm going to colour it. And to do that, I'm going to choose... Plum Twist. Really get that mixed up love these colours, absolutely love them. Which one's that? No, I'm not doing the Bilberry Crush, not today. I'm going to do the Plum Twist. But I'm also to that going to add some of this gorgeous, gorgeous um, Golden Mint Green. This is what this is. Can't wait for these to come in, girls. They, I've already spoken to the... Well, he's been. The uh, distributor's been. Um... I'm just waiting for the catalogues to come through. Plus, I've, uh, I've got the catalogue online anyway. So I'm just waiting to do my order. And you're going to love it, girls. You really are. I've just sprayed on the green first. There we go. Right, I've just added some candy pink as well. You can see the gold shining through from the green. You can see a little bit of the green. And I do like that colour background. That's really nice. Very pretty like. But to that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add something else. Let me just get my paper. Right, all I've done now is I've just cut two ovals out. Use my oval punch. And then to that, I'm just adding the oval picture that I've found and this is the Chinese girl they love these pictures absolutely love them so I just took all the odds I have washed my hands but my hands are blathered in ink and I can't do anything about it I'll just have to keep washing and washing and washing till I get it clean off my hands because they are really bad Right, and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use um, an ink. Let me see. I think I'll use this one, which is the... Uh, oops, God, put my hand straight in it then. The, um, oh, Victorian Velvet. I'm just going to use that just to distress the edge. I'm going to trim that down. I don't think I've quite got that on. I'm doing a double picture not seen one before anywhere pull that away <coughs> and I'm just going to trim where I've not quite caught them like that and this side as well like that that's fine so there's my two pictures like I said they are going to sit 
on there like that. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm just going to darken the edges on here. Oops, not that one. So I'm using the black soot just to darken the edges. like about it is a mix of colour. Really like that. Okay, I've got that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now what I'm gonna do is um to these I'm just I'm just thinking about this. I'm not saying I'm going to do it. But I was gonna add a little bit of the I do love that. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> but it's weather I have enough to go around both and I don't think I do no so I'm not going to do that I'll have to find another lace See what I've got. One minute something to go. Well, I'm not sure whether I've got enough of this one. Oh yes, I have. I think because I do like this. But then I'd have to pleat it, and I don't want to do that. That would take up too much of that. So we'll bypass that one. Look at this one. Oh, that's pretty. Right, what I've done now, um, I've placed the lace under the picture. I've then added this pearly bling, because I do like that. And I'm just attaching the frill around it and I haven't got the same amount of lace so but this is a flowery one so I'm going to edge it in that uh, and all I'm doing is because it's not a gathered lace I'm having to gather it myself and to do that you just pop a little bit you only do probably an inch at a time pop the lace onto it move it into position and then pinch and that's all you need to do but you do have to work pretty quick Again, a little bit of uh, glue and doing it an inch at a time. Pressing it on, getting your gather. You might have to go back and undo it and start again a bit. This is Wicked Glender 1 
and um, a scrappingidea.com and look at their um, well I'm hoping that uh, Chris got hers up last night she, it wasn't up when I looked last but they both did um, I did tutorials with them over Skype um, well I gave them ideas of what to do I didn't tell them what to do I gave them ideas of what to do to do the plaques that I do and Glenda's already put hers up I know I've seen hers absolutely wonderful so it's wickedglenda dot one <laughs> wiki glenda one go along to her channel you know give her some support make a comment she did she's never done a plaque before and she did a marvelous job and i have to say chris you did a marvel you did a fantastic job as well it was marvelous both of them i absolutely adore both of them i'm hoping chris that you get your video done because i want people to see it well people would like to see what you've done Um, Chris's theme, uh, colour scheme was um, orange and green um, and Glenda's were like purpley um, I'm sure it were purples, blues and, and pinks and they're absolutely gorgeous, they really are, they did very very good jobs of both and they've got both <laughs> they've now the challenge I've given them because you know me I'm always giving challenges out the challenge I've given them is they both have to do their own without um, me taking them through it and I know they've got the video so they're going to probably do that but on saying that I don't think they will because uh, they've done it once you've done it once then the ideas come to you yourself you don't need somebody there to help and I have to say, they were both excellent sh uh, students. <laughs> and we're not saying it like it's real. It's, you know, it's just a bit of fun. But um, <laughs> I think I was pushing them. But why not? Why not push them? If somebody isn't there to give you a little shove. You probably will never try something. I know this is hard watching it. I'm going to turn this off and I'll come back. Well, so far this is what I've done. Managed to get all of the uh, lace on and around. is not pretty. Really pretty. Quite pleased with that. So what we're going to do next is, uh, oops, throw my scissors away. <laughs> um, I'm going to come back and do the trim. I'll speak to you in a minute. I was going to put two pictures on here, but I, I've, I like what I've seen, so I might make a pair of matching plaques. I don't know yet. Um, uh, I'm just sorting through what I do like. I'm just going to cut my stems down. I won't waste those whatsoever. I'm going to make a spray up of what of the things I've got. I've got some of these. Might not use them all. I don't know yet. I'll just put that picture up there for now. Um, and I've got these out as well that um, I was sent. So I'm not too sure what I'll do with them. Might use them, I might not. Also got some bling. So but really, basically, what I want is a nice um, display here. Like that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this on here, right there. Not bothered because about the glue there because you won't see it when it's finished. Um, and I'm just going to snip that off there. Um, I'm then going to put these on as well, I think. I'm not sure. I'll put the little ones on. So I'm just going to pop them in there drop a little bit of glue on there just to secure them like 
like that. And just oops, snip that off. That wasn't very good, was it? Pop that back on. Like that. I want them like that. And pop the little spray that I've got here. And I've sorted this out. Like that. I'm going to put that also on there like that. Just there. We just put those little bits of spray in there as well. Like that. Just throw them out. And move that one that way. Oh, that's better. Like that. Um, don't know whether I'll put them in yet. No, maybe not. Now move these up. I'm actually going to attach that bead to that. Like that. And I'm just going to attach that bead there to that. Just to keep them down. And then pop that one on there as well. And then what I'm going to do is to make my own flowers for this. And what I've done is I've got um, the Hello Kitty. Here we go. Not using the big ones, I just had to cut them out at the same time. So I'll just pop those in there. Don't need that one. May only just use... Um, one of those and probably a couple of those and I might put some little bit more pieces in between so I'm just going to clear this off a minute get rid of all the bits of glue that I uh, managed to get rid of off my hands yeah so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint them and I'm going to do them this metallic pink and the metallic purple okay uh, I'm going to do the purple first so I'm give it a really good shake I do love these colors What I've done is just given them a coat of uh, the purple. I'm now going. Uh, I've gone over with the pink, and I'm now going back over with the purple again. And I don't want it the rich dark purple, and I don't want it the pink. So do it this way, and you get in there uh, the exact colour you want, and that's the one I'm after. And while it's wet. And a touch of the purple. And there you go, you've got your colour. Let's do that a bit. Oh, I'm blabbered! Oh, nice to see. I've just had a look at the uh, mini giveaway. Nice to see people actually looking and commenting, to be honest. Right. What I'm going to do is bend these flowers like I do. And then I'm just going to bend them in like that and shape them how I want them. Remember this fold, fold it in half like that. See, it like comes up into a V, 
and push that in and it lifts it straight up and give it a really good squeeze. And the thing is, when you're doing these with thick card, they do actually stay in shape. But you could use that just like that. So it re reminds me of the sun. When you were a kid and you had to draw the sun. I used to draw mine like that. Just check the time. There we go. Right, what I'm doing now is I'm just popping these flowers together. Like this. They don't quite lay, bend them again. Like that. There we go. So that's mine. I don't know what I'm going to put in the middle of it yet. So here's the smaller ones. Must find something. I do have some flower scents that Karen sent. Like that. Let's bend them in. Squash them in like that, pulling the petals up because you're pushing in where the petals are, like that. Okay, so what we need to do is just make sure. Now, I like this one, this has got pink on. I'm not bothered if all the centers are different at all, it makes the picture better. There, isn't that pretty? Uh, look for another pink one, you might put that in there actually. I like that one. And the bigger one. Like that. Like that. Let's find another pretty pink one. Do I like that one? Yeah, I like that. Do I? Oh, that one. No. I'm going to put this one in. There you go. And that's my flowers. And I do like them a lot. But I'm also going to get some other bits. I've not finished yet. Now what I got was um, some of these, these are, and they're going to go great with this. So it's just beautiful wine coloured um, marabou feathers. I really actually need a short one. Um, and I think this is going to be ideal, this one. Maybe not. That one's a bit fuller. Beautiful wine colour they are. Love them. So here's my plaque. Now, what I'm going to do is to I don't know how to place that there. Yeah, it's going in. <laughs> Regardless, it's going in. I know some of you will think, oh, put it underneath, put it underneath, but I, well, I've already glued it anyway. But um, no, I don't really want it underneath. Um, and I'm just going to do that to. Uh, glue it down to be honest like that I do like that I think it's really pretty and you see my flowers are going to go there so I need the large one here And I'm going to put that one in there like that. 
I might only put them to one actually. Yeah, because what I've got are some leaves that I want to go on. And all I'm going to do with these is I like the two-toneness of them. Not that you're going to see much of the leaf anyway. Uh, but I'm just going to spray them, to be honest. Just going to spray them using the pink. Like that, and that's all I'm going to do. And then just dry those. I just wanted to um, tone them down a little bit. And I'm going to pop that one in there. I do like that. Mm. Mm, I'm going to pop that one there. Like that. Like that. Mm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little... Oops, sorry. Nearly got the camera over. Sorry. Is that get the pearl? I'm not sure which one I'll. Um, might use a cream. I, no, I don't like the cream. Cream doesn't look right. That'll do. That's why I keep on my augments. You never know when you want one. When you want. Oh, sorry. When you want just one pearl to blend in somewhere. You never ever know when that will be. Just going to do that and pop that in there. Like that. Yeah, like that. I like that a lot. What do you think? It's quite pretty. And I'm just going to get a little bit of lace. I won't be a minute. I've just found this bit of trim. I'm not sure if it'll work. I can always take it off. That doesn't matter. But I just didn't want... Um, I wanted a little bit of lace or, or trim to hang the picture up on the mat. Like that. Oh. Right, I did use that bit of trim and um, I do like it. I love the plaque. I've put the pearl on, uh, the bling on. Um, I th could have been nicer in pink, but I didn't have any. But I do like the whole thing. I love the wine, the plum, the, uh, the, you know, the pinks. I love the spray. I love all of this lace. And um, I quite like that. Thanks for watching. Don't be afraid to mix your colours. Bye.